On January 10, Nicholas Mainati sent me an email asking me to come to his office. I didn't know the purpose of this meeting and I didn't even know if he was interrogated as a suspect by the General Prosecutor's Office of Bulgaria. And I also didn't know if others were invited. On January 10, I wrote to the director of ESFAM that I will not participate in the meeting on January 11 because I filed a criminal complaint against the director of ESFAM, which would honestly represent a conflict of interest. Also, the director of ESFAM summoned me to the commission on January 22, 2023 because I would not have appeared at the meeting. Update, January 14, 2023 have you ever missed a course at university? I studied at three universities, ULIM, International Relations, Romanian American University, Faculty of Law, TINSPA, Master in Conflict Analysis and Resolution, and I had absences, but the university never created a disciplinary committee to sanction me because I had absences. At ESFAM, where I have a master's degree in a management and administration to enterprise faculty, I never missed a university course. But I did not go to a meeting with the director of the university, which was also not mandatory, and the director of the university created a disciplinary committee to be punished. Within this commission on January 22, I declared. I will answer only to the Bulgarian prosecutor and any attempt by the commission to expel me from the university, or to be sanctioned by this commission will be considered as obstruction of justice and complicity in the crimes committed by the director of ESFAM. Which means that the people from this commission, other than the ESFAM director, on January 22, 2023 will commit the crime, obstruction of justice and complicity in the crimes of complicity. Since I filed a criminal complaint against Nicholas Mainati, he, Nicholas Mainati, created a disciplinary committee that took place on January 22 and I was sanctioned on 23.01.2024. The creation of this commission is illegal and I was sanctioned for filing a criminal complaint against Nicholas Mainati. Today, February 12, 2024, I found out that the director of ESFAM cancelled my student scholarship, 250 euros, and also the amount of money that was intended for accommodation, 250 euros. I discovered that my scholarship was cancelled only after other master's students had received their scholarship in their bank account, while I received nothing in my bank account. I was not informed in advance and also, I repeat that the disciplinary committee did not decide to cancel my scholarship. There are desperate attempts by the director of ESFAM to escape from prison and the witness. Today I filed another criminal complaint against the director of ESFAM, Nicholas Mainati. He, Nicholas Mainati cancelled my scholarship in order to get rid of the witness. Since I won't receive the university scholarship and the money for accommodation, I will be forced to leave Bulgaria and thus get rid of the witness slash and of course to intimidate me. This means that ESFAM director Nicholas Mainati continues to obstruct justice by exceeding his powers and clearly abusing his position and by setting up commissions to intimidate me to find out information about the criminal complaint I filed. Officially, Nicholas Mainati cancelled my university scholarship because I didn't go to a meeting with the director, which is absurd. On November 14, 2023, I filed a criminal complaint with the General Prosecutor's Office of Bulgaria and after seeing that the prosecutor did not send me a summons as a witness, nor did he interrogate the suspect, I wrote a request why I am not invited as a witness. Today I received a response from the District Prosecutor's Office in Sofia, no criminal prosecution. There is only one simple explanation why I was not questioned as a witness and obviously why the suspect was not questioned because of reasonable suspicion that the Bulgarian prosecutor Raskov would have committed acts of corruption. All the Bulgarian prosecutor Raskov had to do, send a summons to the suspect's address with the address and the time and place where he must appear at the prosecutor's office. Be an interpreter slash translator from the French language and ask the suspect. Did you sign that document? The document that I presented to the prosecutor's office with the signature of Nicholas Mainati, 
and that this document contains false information that was intended for the Bulgarian authorities. Second question, how many such documents with false information did you send to the Bulgarian authorities? And the answer would have been more than 100 false documents. Third question Mr. Mainady, do you admit that you sent documents with false information to the Bulgarian authorities? For three months, the prosecutor's office was supposed to have all the false documents that the Bulgarian authorities received from Mainady. But what did the Bulgarian prosecutor's office do, they didn't interrogate any witnesses or suspects. There is a presumption of innocence and if Mr. Mainady wants to sue me, then he will have to bribe Bulgarian judges too. Я студент, да, у меня Андрей Бобцов. Да. Вот мимо моей здесь. Да. Так. И че, извинявай, че те притеснявам, тук при мен има един господин от Молдова, казва се Андрей Плох, така. Ами да ти го дам да си поговориш, че той бил някакъв студент, но не мога да го разбера точно какво изисква. Понеже е опоменан и адреса на нашия хотел. Для того, чтобы открыть виза, да? Там... Ама доколкото разбирам, но не е за настаняване. Че... Да, ще ти го дам в момент да, да видиш как говори Рус. Добре, окей. Okay. Нет, я... Нет, 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 я не, я не хочу комнату. Это, как сказать, приглашение с прошлого года, да, с прошлой угу. а, осенью, но с этой бумажкой мы должны были пойти по Сосе и открыть виза болгарская, да. Угу. И, а, я послал вам письмо, и там я вам сказал всю ситуацию, там послал на ваш имейл вот угу. письмо, и я объяснил всю ситуацию. И потому что но здесь... Вот. Да, вот это, как сказать, директор послал, написал здесь ваш адрес mm -hmm. гостиницы, но у вас, как сказать, не у вас нет никакой партнерства с ЕСФАМ, он просто использовал ваш адрес для того, чтобы открыть визу. Mm -hmm. Понимаете? Mm -hmm. Я понимаю. Так, вот об этом я и говорю. В принципе, это нелегально, это незаконно. И, в принципе, я об этом хотел уточнить. Mm -hmm. и... Нет, не менеджер. А с менеджером. Хорошо. Да, говори по руси. И виж, нали, какво ще удържи човека. Да. Алло. Хай. Мой имя е Андрей. Ага, окей. Я сейчас буду, как пытаюсь сделать журналистическое расследование, да, и там я хочу доказать, что директор Ислам использовал ваш адрес, адрес вашей гостиницы для того, чтобы открыть визу болгарским посольством, да, он использовал ваш адрес, адрес вашей гостиницы. И мой вопрос сейчас такой, у вас есть какое-нибудь партнерство с ИСФАМ? и с директором Монети, Николас Монети. А раньше были у вас? Да, прош... То есть так были, да, там? А сейчас у вас нету, да? Два года у вас нету. А я хочу вам... Так, я хочу вам просто как информировать, что... Он еще до сих пор использует адрес улицы и вашей гостиницы для того, чтобы открыть визу. Он послал мне, по-моему, где-то сотни приглашенных писем для посольства, где-то 20 стран. Да? И там было указано адрес, ваш адрес и гостиница ваша.